and I am a cloud ops advocate at Microsoft, and I work on Azure. And one of the things that I think is cool about Azure is how easy it is to start up a API for MongoDB with uh, Azure Cosmos DB. It's pretty fast, and let's show you how to get started. Uh, go ahead, log into Azure. Uh, you can just go to azure.com. If you don't have an account, sign up. You get $200 worth of credits. If you don't already have an account, to start, uh, go ahead and sign up for free. The first thing we'll do is we will go ahead and create a resource group. That's going to be where our Cosmos database will live. Uh, the region and all the other subscription information we'll be able to put in here. So I'm going to build one out of East US. I will create a resource group, call it Cosmos Demo Twitter. We'll go ahead and create and review, create. So now we have actually a space to create our Cosmos database. So let's go in here. Great, we're in our resource group and you can see within, oops, uh, this is a preview for DevOps days. If you're gonna go in New York City, please do. Uh, anyhow, so let's take a look at this browser and we'll make it a little larger for you. And as you can see, we are at the resource group and what we'll do is we'll create resources. And within here, we're going to pick Cosmos DB. And then what we'll do is we'll just select right here, Azure Cosmos DB. We'll create. And to actually create the account, no big deal. We're going to use MongoDB. Cool. We're going to use this new resource group that we create, Cosmos Demo Twitter. We'll give it uh, a host name. This is going to be an FQDN. Uh, and we'll call it Demo Twitter Cosmos. Uh, we'll pick our location. Like I said, we're going to do East US. Uh, we can enable multi-region rights, and we can also enable geo-redundancy so we can put our data all over the world. That's rad. Uh, next, we'll create a virtual network. Uh, go ahead, create a new virtual network. We'll call it Demo Twitter. Okay. Next, we'll give it a tag. So we actually have a naming convention. So if we need to look at the metadata about it, no big deal. Name, and what we'll do is we'll call it Demo Twitter. It's a logical name for the VNet, or actually demo tour. Yep, cool, next view and create. So now it's going to do with some validation and by the time our validation is done, we can just go ahead and click create. That's gonna create the virtual network. That's gonna create all the hardware uh, virtually, uh, any software configurations for replication, anything we need to get our uh, new Cosmos database, database deployment out and going. Uh, no problem. It'll handle all of the automation for us. So we can go to this resource group, take a look. We'll see that our network is already created. And as we continue to go along, we'll see the other resources are created within our resource group. Like our new Azure DB uh, account for MongoDB. So now all we can do is start configuring our regions to have where our data is located. We can explore the data after we've uploaded it, or what we can do is go into uh, our database server that we've now created once the uh, uh, configuration is finished, and we can start actually just writing documents immediately. And that's really it. That's how easy it is to get started using Azure Cosmos uh, DB for the MongoDB API. If you want to get started with the migration, we'll do that next. Don't worry about it. I'm going to teach you how to use either Mongo dump and restore, or we can use a service uh, that's provided by Azure to help you migrate your data online. Thanks a lot for following along. I hope you learned something. If you did, send me a tweet at jdestro. If uh, you want to get some other questions answered, yes, other concerns, shoot me a note. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.